Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about our good friend, the modem once again. What we are looking at is we're looking to determine the maximum speed that our modem can support. This is important for us because if your modem, if the maximum speed your modem can support is less than what's being provided by your internet plan, then your modem can serve as a bottleneck for your entire network. For example, if you're paying for an internet plan that's 800 megabits per second and your modem can only support, support 100 megabits per second, this means that your home network will only be able to operate at 100 megabits per second. Your modem will basically be slowing down every single device on your network. And that 800 megabits per second internet plan that you're paying for, a lot of that is going to waste. And this is exactly why we need to know the speed that our modem can support. We want to be able to make decisions about our home network. We want to be able to say, hey, I should probably upgrade my modem so that way it can support the internet speed that I'm getting from my internet plan. Or conversely, wow, the performance of my network is fine, but my modem supports a maximum speed that's less than the internet plan that I'm paying for. So effectively, I can scale back my internet plan and get the same performance on my home network. This will save you money on a monthly basis. So it's something that's definitely, wor definitely worth doing. Okay, so I'll give you the most common way to find out what speed your modem can support. There are some alternatives that we'll talk through, but the first thing that we have to do is let's take a look at the informational sticker on the bottom of our modem. And that will give us the information we need to look up what speed our modem can support. All right, so here we are. Here's the sticker on our modem. And it's not going to be as straightforward as you think. It's not just going to tell you the maximum speed that your modem can support. So what do we have to look at? We have to look at the number of downstream channels your modem has, as well as the communication standard that it's using. So what we want to look at in particular is here. You can see how it says DOCSIS 3.0. That's the communication standard that your modem is using. That will help us determine the speed once we know how many downstream channels there are. And that's listed right below. Here we can see that my modem has 24 downstream and 8 upstream channels. So that's going to give us a better idea when we look up the DOCSIS 3.0 standard we'll be able to tell the speed that my modem can support because of the number of downstream channels it has. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put up a chart here that you can look at and refer to. So that way you'll see based upon the DOCSIS version that your modem is, whether it's 3.0 or 3.1, and then the number of downstream channels it has, which can be anywhere from 8 downstream channels 16, 24, I think also 32 is possible as well. But let us let me flash up that chart for you now so you can find out exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so as you could see in my case, I had 24 downstream channels and my modem is using DOCSIS 3.0 as the standard to communicate. So in looking at that chart that I flashed up there, that means my modem can support 1,000 megabits per second. Just to clarify, we're looking at the downstream channels as opposed to the upstream channels because we're concerned with what we can download from the internet, what information we can gather from the internet at a given point in time. You can use the same method that I described for the upload speeds as well for your modem. You can look at the number of upstream channels it has, the DOCSIS standard it's using, and using that same chart that I showed before, 
you can find out the maximum upload speed for your modem as well. Okay, let's say that using the sticker on your modem, either it doesn't work for you, it's not a viable method, or you're still unsure what the maximum speed your modem can support is. Well, fear not, there's a few alternatives here. The first thing you can do, and it's a bit of a long shot, I acknowledge that, is if you have the data sheet that came with your modem when you bought it, or if you still have the box that the modem came in, those two things will likely tell you the maximum speed your modem can support. Again, I understand most people still don't have that stuff. They throw it out as soon as they set up their modem. So the good news is there's another option. And what you can do is you can look up the data sheet for your modem online. You can find the electronic version of it. All you need to do is basically Google the make and model of your modem followed by data sheet. And what you'll find is the manufacturer for your modem will have a support page and they usually list electronic versions of all the documents that come with your modem, data sheet included, and the data sheet will undoubtedly list the speed that your modem can support. Between those three methods, looking at the sticker on the device, looking at the data sheet and box that came with your modem when you bought it, and then lastly looking it up online, one of those methods will work out for you. If you want details on the following two methods, looking at the box and data sheet, or if you want to get detailed information and specific procedures on how to look up the electronic data sheet for your modem, I will link to a blog post down below that I've written that details all of that for you. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. And I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for tuning in to this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.